Hello, Heart of Mary. I hope you're doing well. This past week, I was so blessed to be with my mother and my three sisters, which was kind of difficult because they came from another state and we had talked over and over again if they should cancel the trip that they had had planned for a year. To be honest, it was really great for my heart. So they got here, they quarantined, and then we spent some precious time together. And when I had to say goodbye, I was really surprised that the days that followed were full of real sadness. I realized that we had not spent that kind of time together since my dad died over 12 years ago. The time we spent together was precious in every way. So that was one of the silver linings for me of COVID-19. We had started doing weekly Zoom meetings so that we can keep that connection and see each other face to face. And not only that, it's what everyone was doing. So during those times that we were meeting, we would talk about that trip that a few of them had planned to come out. And then my other sister soon tagged on and she came out as well. And again, you know, just another silver lining. Had we have not been quarantined, had we had um, not been doing Zoom meetings, it probably wouldn't have come up and we wouldn't have had that experience. So this week I sent out a note asking the people of Heart of Mary Women's Fellowship, what are your silver linings? What are your silver linings during this pandemic? The definition of a silver lining is, the potential for something positive or beneficial to result in from a negative situation. Often used in the phrase, every cloud has a silver lining. And it says also, a silver lining on a cloud is an indication that the sun is behind it. And I say that a silver lining behind a cloud is an indication that the Son of God is behind it. My time spent with my 87-year-old mother and my sisters was absolutely a silver lining. But here's a few more. I learned during this time to really appreciate my church and my faith as everything shut down, as everything was taken away from us. And during this time, I have prayed for our parish office staff that have made actually mass on the grass possible and also receiving the sacrament of reconciliation when we want and also receiving Jesus at daily mass when we want. I know I shared with you before that I took this time to look at the fork in the road and one path took me down a path of destruction for my mental and physical health and the other one was down a path of just good mental and physical health. And thanks be to God I chose the more positive. Another one is my daughter is now working from home and able to take care of her new baby and my other daughter is homeschooling my grandchildren. So that is huge and very heartwarming for me. I organized messes in my house that were absolutely chipping away at me for years. So what are your silver linings? For most of us, it's been about six months living like this for our health, for our safety. There are many of you brothers and sisters who live in other countries who've been living like this for a lot longer. So what have you found throughout that time that is that silver lining behind something that could be so negative, but the Son of God is there showing you, hey, look at this, it isn't so bad. Look at it this way, not that way. I would really love to know what it is for you. So reach out and share your story with me at heartofmarywf at aol.com. Hello Heart of Mary is a silver lining for me as well. It has been a gift during this time that I feel that has blessed many. I've received wonderful comments from people and continue to be affirmed by them. And so I will continue to keep reminding you how much Jesus loves you and that you're never alone in anything, no matter how hard it may seem, you are never alone. So know that for sure, because I pray for you all the time. And um, I look forward to hearing what your silver linings are. God bless you, brothers and sisters. We'll see you very soon. Bye, everyone.